Hi there! My name is Divine Grace Kasingal and I am your reporter for today. Based on our introductory video, I know that you have an idea now what is our topic for today. Does it seem familiar? Yes, you are right. Our topic for today is about the first skirmish and pairings of settlement. In this video, we will talk about the three important things that happened in our history. First, what is the cry of Balintawa? Second, when did the first skirmish or first cry of Philippine Revolution happen? And lastly, what is the meaning of tearing settlers? But before answering these questions, let me give you a short background about our history. The Philippine revolutions against over 300 years of Spanish rule began with Andres Bonifacio. Andres Bonifacio. Maso. Pagamay Alak ng tundo. The leader of the Katipunan, a secret revolutionary society that sought independence for the Philippines from Spanish colonial rule. The cry of the rebellion happened in August 1896. There's a lot of controversies puzzling the mind of the readers regarding the real date and place of this event. Some accounts pointing directly to Balintawak are associated with the cry. It proved by the testimonies of people who had witnessed the event, which means that their versions shows credibility and accurately detailed. Lieutenant Oligario Diaz of Spanish Civil Guards wrote in 1896, that the event happened in Balintawak, which corroborates the accounts of historian Gregorio Zaide and Teodoro Calao. Let's answer the first question. What is Cry of Balintawak? The Cry of Balintawak is an event in which the Filipino started their first staging act of revolution. So, where did the first skirmish or first cry of Philippine revolution happen? Up to the late 1920s, the cry was generally identified with Balintawak. So it means that the first cry of revolution happened in Balintawak at the house of Apolonio Samson on August 26, 1896. Nine o'clock in the morning, the board of directors held a meeting for the final date of uprising. Bonifacio went outside the hall and talked to the people waiting outside. So the first skirmish was commemorated on August 26 considered of the first encounter between the Katipuneros and Guardia Civil. The first shot of the revolution was fired at Banlat Pasong Tamo, then considered a part of Balintawak and now part of Quezon City. Let's travel back to the time when the first skirmish happened. So, what does tearing of settlers means? The cry actually refers to the first clash of Katipuneros showing their reform by tearing up their settlers into pieces, implicating that they have pronounced to refuse their enslavement and servitude with Spaniards. Ilabas ninyo ang inyong mga sedula! Pagmasdan ninyo ang munting papel na umaalipin sa ating lahat. Katipunan, kailangan na nating wakasan ang ilang daang taong pananakop ng Espanya. Kulang man tayo sa sandata. Mas malakas man ang barel at tanyon ng mga Kastila. Lalaban tayo hanggang sa huling hininga. Hindi tayo magpapalupig! Tayo ang magtatagumpay. Dahil tayo ang mga anak ng bayan. Tayo ang nagmamayari sa lubang ito. Sa atin ang bayan ito. Pulitin! Ang mga sedula nyo! Mabuhay ang katipunan! Mabuhay! Mabuhay ang revolusyon! Mabuhay ang Not all accounts
accounts related in the last days of August to the tyranny of Sedalas. All their accounts identify the place where Kang Kong happened in Balintawak or Kaloocan. The most frequent date is the Sedala tearing date of the first meeting on 26th of August. On 24th and 26th, Guillermo Masangkay, Juan Katipunera, claimed that more than one Sedalas had been formed. Teodoro Agoncillo described the cry for his 1956 book, The Revolt of the Masses, as tearing of Sedalas and distancing himself from the case that defined it as the first scarcity of the revolution. His version was based on Pio Valenzuela's later testimonies and others in Pugadlawin instead of Balintawa claiming the pride took place. The version of Valenzuela, through the influence of Agoncillo, became the basis of the Philippine government's current position. In 1963, on August 23, President Diosdado Macapagal ordered the official commemoration to be transferred to Pugadlawin, Quezon City. Now, let's summarize our discussion for today by watching a short video clip. Let's go back to the time when Andres Bonifacio and Catiponeros fight the Spaniards. Mga kapatid, mga magigiting na anak ng bayan, inyong pagparito ay pagpapakita na hindi kayo nasisindak sa napipintong pangalit. Andres Bonifacio. Maso. Taga Maynila. Anak ng tundo. Este es el ejemplo. Kaya mo pasar. Wala na magkaroon ng pag-aalsa sa Cavite. Naging lubhang mapaghinala na ang mga Kastila. Nagbilas ipapataw ang kaparusahan kamatayan sa karote. Ah, supremo. Oras na po Hindi sumusuko ang ating mga kapanalit. Ang tagumpay sa kabite ay pagpapakita na kaya natin lupigin ang pwersa ng Espanya. Ang digmaang ito magdadala sa atin sa mahabang parang ng paghihingalo. Punitin para sa kalayaan! Punitin! 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 Lagi ninyong pakatandaan na ang kadahilanan ng ating pagbuwis ng buhay ay upang makamit ang matagal na nating minimithing kalayaan mula sa pagbustay at pagkaalipi! Mang sigwa ay may paghupa. Ano mang kadiliman ay dadaikin ng pagbubukang liwayway at pagbabayad sa bayan ang may pagkakabutan. Tumating na! Araw ng mga tunay na anak ng bayan! Oh!